everyone welcome back to my channel my name is crystal also known as good girl gone fashion make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and make sure you're following me on instagram at good girl gone fashion today i have a very random video for you all i was actually looking at my closet the other night and i was like dag you have a lot of designer items that you're not wearing. Is there a reason why? Um, is it the season? Is it um, is it outdated? Is it just not my vibe or my style anymore? So I kind of wanted to show you those items that I haven't really been grabbing for now. I don't know if I want to necessarily sell these items or I know how stuff comes back around and none of this stuff is like honestly outdated like I could wear it at any time um, because you set the tone and you set the vibe that you're going for and either people are going to get with it or they're not so um, that's kind of like how I feel about stuff that I no longer wear or if it's not on trend like that doesn't mean you still can't wear it or whatever the case may be. But um, <laughs> anywho, I wanted to share you all, share with you all the pieces that I have that I have not been wearing, some jewelry and accessories um, more than anything. That's basically all I have. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to start with the first item, which is this Gucci bracelet. Um, this was a gift to me for my birthday one year, and I wear it here and there, but I guess with me not necessarily wearing silver all the time, I don't reach for it as much because I am a gold girl all the way to the core, just like I'm pretty sure most people are. Even though silver and metallics is making a huge comeback, maybe I will be able to pull this out more, but it's just a Gucci um, sterling silver bracelet that I got for a gift. So I'm assuming they got it from the Gucci store, but um, nonetheless, it's still, I actually might put it on now because it's, it's still a nice piece. I just don't reach for it as much. And I said that I was going to like start wearing my arm candy again, which I don't wear as much, but this is how I would normally wear it. I would stack it with my tennis bracelet, my watch and this and plus whatever else. So actually, hey, look how that worked out. <laughs> so um, yes, I'm gonna move right along. Next thing I'm gonna move to is sunglasses. Now I have a couple of pairs of sunglasses that I don't actually wear that often. Um, but I need to, I need to. Um, but I only have two pairs to show you all. So the first pair that I don't wear as often are these Prada Flame sunglasses. Do y'all remember when um, Prada came out with those um, Prada shoes with the flames on the back? I think that's when these Sunnies were released and I'll try them on, but they have the flames on the side and um, this is orange. I'm not sure if it's coming off red, but this is orange, but these are stunners. That's why I was saying like, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna sell these items or just hold on to them for like a rainy day. Cause you just never know when you wanna whip out some sunglasses with flames on them, right? <laughs> so, that's kind of like how I'm viewing these, but um, yeah, I just don't reach for them. So that's the only reason I was considering um, getting rid of them. So that is one pair of Sunnies. The next pair I want to show you are these <laughs> Chloe Sunnies. Oops. <laughs> Now, I searched high and low for these. I believe I saw a housewife with them on, and I was like, what type of sunglasses are those? Now, I'm gonna tell y'all a little trick. If you don't have Google image search, you need to get it. Because I was able to take a screenshot of 
this lady's face and put it in Google image search and, and they popped right up. They are the Chloe sunglasses. I'm not sure of the exact style or name. If I can find them, I will link them below. And they are just stunning. They are nest, they are absolutely stunning. Let me show you one thing. Now this fell. So this also came with the sunglasses. Now I can pop this tint out, which I believe it goes from like purple, orange to like yellow, if y'all can see that. And these are just like a tenant brown. And you can pop these out and put these in. And of course I have another one for the other side, but I just wanted to show y'all that I think they're so cool and I don't reach for them as much and it makes me sad It's like some days I do want to sell these But then I'm like, oh, these are like so vintage looking. I don't want to get rid of them What do you think? Yes, no <laughs> But yes, so those are the Chloe Sunnies that I am Still obsessed with but I just don't wear so moving on, I have a belt. I have the Gucci belt with the pearls. And I actually really still like this belt. Now, I originally wanted the regular Gucci belt without the pearls, because I feel like you, of course, you could do so much more with that because um, you're not limited to the pearls or whatever the case may be. But I wasn't seeing many people with the pearls. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna try the Gucci belt with the pearls. I love it. Um, what size did I get? This is a 105 and 42. So this might be the biggest size. I'm not sure. But I would pair this thing with all type of stuff. I would belt it over stuff, put it over dresses and stuff like that. And maybe I can still do that, um, but I just don't reach for it as much. And kind of like when I see people with it, I'm a little annoyed. Um, not that they have it as well, but I feel like they ain't as like popping as they once was but um, I don't want to sell it because what if it comes back around? So that's my issue. That's, that's just what it boils down to. Your girl has some issues. <laughs> but yes, that um, is the next item. Next, I have a Louis Vuitton bucket hat. So why am I talking in the accent? I have no clue. But um, now this is probably something I would sell out of everything, only because it is so tiny. It does fit my head, but it's tight, and I feel like it looks too small for my head. And it just looks like this in the inside, nothing spectacular, but um, it's a cute, you know, had to throw on in the summer and I wear on vacation, but I just don't reach for it. And honestly, it's just because it looks so tiny on this dome. <laughs> but um, that is the next item. And um, next I have two purses that um, I want to show you all that I love still, but I don't reach for. Um, <laughs> The first one is my Celine Clutch. I love this when they brought this back out. And um, I kind of want to sell it for the, um, the Celine bag with the top handle. So if you see me get rid of this one, that's the other one that I'm trying to get. And I'm kind of sold on... At first, I was sold on the same color as this one, but I think... I want the cream or the white for spring and summer, being that I sold my other white bag. So, yes, that's, and that was one I was willing to let go of, my Moschino bucket bag. But um, everything else I'm having a hard time letting go in. 
I think I took it once on vacation. I've worn it, I think, once since then. And it's a really nice bag. It's basically brand new. I just don't reach for it, but I love it. And um, it will be with me until further notice. Yes, until further notice. And the last thing I wanna show you all is my Balenciaga clutch. I went crazy to find this bag. I saw a girl on Instagram with it years ago and come to find out, she got it out the men's section on the website. That's why I couldn't find it. I was like, this is crazy. So, um, like, as much as I preach, don't skip the men's section, especially when it comes to the thrift store. But um, I am starting to look at men's designer pieces as well because sometimes they be a little bit more unique and different. And who would have thought a pink clutch with Balenciaga written all over it would have been in the men's section. But who am I? <laughs> so yes, I love this clutch. Um, I actually have a little Galentine's thing to go to and I kind of want to wear it. Um, here's how the inside looks, basically brand new. And this came inside of the bag too not really know what the purpose of that is. If someone knows, let me know. But this is from a old Balenciaga collection and I just love how bold it is and I just love the color pink, you know. I just need a, I just don't reach I just don't reach for her as much, but I still love her. I do. And um, I actually might wear her today, but I'm not sure. I kind of want my hands to be free. But um, yes, this is the last piece. Um, as you can see, it's a very good size. It's not a small clutch. Even if I stuff it like perfectly, you know, I normally just carry it right under the crook of my arm. So that's about it. And um, yeah, that's everything that I can think of. I do have some um, Givenchy earrings, but I couldn't find those that I wanted to show you all that I don't wear as much. So let me know, should I, anything I should necessarily sell, anything I should necessarily keep, let me know. So yes, um, let me know what you think. Um, drop a nice comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's a free and easy way to support me so I can continue to bring you nothing but bomb videos. <laughs> but um, yes, I will see you all in my next video. Toodles.